Hey guys, this is Tvex and in today's video I'm about to show you how to improve your FPS in Escape from Tarkov. Before I begin, I would pleasure you to like the video so I can reach my personal goal of 10 likes for this video and subscribe to my channel in order to support me and get notified whenever I upload awesome content. So, let's begin. Uh, first of all, some of you might uh, experience frame drops, stutterings, freezing and uh, a lot of stuff like this in Escape from Tarkov. I'm here for you. So there are eight simple steps, actually seven simple steps and one more uh, advanced for some uh, computer users. And uh, the first thing that I'm about to tell you before I even begin, check game debate in the description in order to see if your uh, PC can actually run the game because if your system requirements are too low, nothing of this will help you play the game. So, first step, make sure that your game is installed on your SSD. In case you don't have one, if you can afford one, buy it. Trust me, you will gain a major performance boost, especially on loading screens and loading maps for all the games that you have installed on your SSD. There is a lot of value in buying one uh, such disk. Now, second step, we need to change the DPI settings of the executive file. So, how to do that? Find the installation of the game, for me it's in my local disk C, Escape from Tarkov, and here's my executable file. So, you're going to right click on it, properties, compatibility, and change high DPI settings. I'm choosing this one, it opens the same uh, compatibility tab just for all the users. So, change high DPI settings, uh, doesn't matter which one if you press this or just change it from here I have made changes previously using this so I need to make them using this tab change the DPI settings and check the override high DPI scaling behavior and make sure the scaling is performed by the application after that hit ok ok and ok that's for the step 2 now for the third step we're actually going to make sure that the launcher closes completely after launching the game. Its main purpose is to just launch the game. There's nothing extra that needs it to be open in order for the game to run. So it's just wasting uh, RAM usage and CPU usage from your computer. In order to do that, open the Battlestate Games Launcher. Hit the Settings tab. And go there. When I launch the game, exit the launcher completely. Make sure this is selected, you can just then run the game or close it, the option is saved. Now for the fourth setting, we are going to find the settings file in our documents. Escape from Tarkov and you would normally have these two files and just this if you have screenshots saved on your computer, I have some. And this is just a copy of the initial file. Open this local.ini and uh, you can change your settings to match mine. Uh, even if you don't and you have your personal settings, just make sure HDR is set to off. So this is if you have a decent graphics card and a decent CPU. These settings will probably be the best for you to run and have a combination of smooth uh, gameplay and a nice image quality. Because even if you have smooth FPS and you don't have a nice image quality, sometimes you won't be able to even spot the enemies. And you don't want that. So, take a moment, pause and copy the settings. Now, we're going to the fifth step, which is actually Discord related. Most of us gamers use Discord to communicate with our friends and our teammates. So, Discord, unfortunately for me and for some others, because I made a research on Reddit uh, mostly, uh, experience frame drops when they use Discord, so uh, turn off Discord completely when you launch the game and you will notice that you uh, will have a major FPS boost if you haven't done it before. So that happens because uh, Discord uses too much of your CPU sometimes and I really do not know why I can't explain it. And if you don't have a strong CPU like I don't have one and you don't have a lot of RAM this is going to mess up with your game and result in frame drops. Now for our sixth step, 
we're going to use our ROM cleaner and we're going to also be checking the CPU usage constantly. So we have two programs, we have either memory cleaner or advanced system care. I prefer advanced system care because it can uh, get you a small widget right there, you don't even need to open the program and you can hit this in order to clear your RAM automatically. Now if you want something more specific and check the CPU usage, you can go there. This is a performance monitor and you can check uh, what tasks you want to terminate uh, manually. So as you see my normal uh, usage is between 20% uh, of CPU usage when I don't run the game and 20% RAM. That's uh, because I don't have too much RAM, I just have 8 gigs. Now for the seventh step, we're going to turn Windows 10 game mode off. And uh, we're going to do so because the game mode of Windows uh, does more harm than good. It terminates some of uh, the useful tasks that the computer thinks that is going to save some resources by closing them, but sometimes it makes it worse instead of good. This might help, this might not, it's totally situational and it depends on your specs. So, we are going to the search icon, game mode settings, open this and make sure game mode is turned off. Now for the 8th and most impactful tip, uh, just take note that I'm not responsible for any uh, harm that you do on your computer. Please make sure before applying anything that I'm about to say that you have made some basic research before uh, changing anything and I'm about to tell you about overclocking your CPU or your GPU. For example, in my uh, rig, the CPU is bottlenecking my GPU. My GPU is a 1660 NVIDIA GeForce and my CPU is an AMD FX4300. Uh, it seriously bottlenecks my GPU because my CPU is like 8 years old so there is a serious problem there. What I have done in order to be able to run the game smoothly, I have actually overclocked the base clock of 3.8 GHz to 4.3 with a stock cooler and some decent cooling in my uh, PC case and I can get stable results without uh, freezes, sometimes when the scavs spawn uh, I get some freezes but that's very uh, situational and doesn't happen occasionally and uh, yeah take uh, the name of your CPU or GPU what do you prefer to uh, overclock what you think has the most serious problem but please do not do that without uh, making some research first uh, and apply the overclock needed the best tip that I would probably give you is to try to save up for a stronger uh, PC part, the one that is actually making your, uh, your rig do not perform well for me, it's my CPU. I'm already saving to buy a new motherboard and a new CPU because I can't upgrade my motherboard, it's too old. And I'm going to save some money and buy a new um, mobile and a new CPU when possible. So that was it for today, I hope that I helped, if I helped please like the video, comment anything that uh, I might be able to answer and help you and subscribe to my channel in order to support it and get more content from me whenever I upload it. Thanks a lot for watching, keep calm and I'll see you at the extraction point.